so we are here folks the place is called changi point ferry terminal and we're going to take a small bum boat from here it's not really a ferry it's a bum boat that carries about 10 to 15 people and let's see how it would be right now and we're on the way No camping, no smoking. We have met a lovely dog. Hello. Say hi. The weather is beautiful, but we really cannot do much because it's raining. Let's see if we can enjoy this. And we literally pay only four dollars round trip for this view and this trip, so you can't complain on this. There are some small settlements on the water if you see there, and I really love the atmosphere here. amazing I love the place and I can't wait for the rain to uh, go down so I can go in so we are finally going with the umbrella the rain has mellowed down however it's still raining as you can see so basically this still is a mix of mangroves and uh, beach These beautiful rocks however you are off limits you cannot go there and you should not try to go there in Singapore let's see if there are any fish around that's not a crocodile we are very far from the entry point of the island and that's the only entry point Welcome to Palau Beach. So folks, as soon as you walk towards your right, I came across this beautiful viewpoint and I literally loved it. So the weather today is just wow. And you can see people fishing all over the island. You see even here there are some fishing rods. It's a bit muddy, however, we are still going to go towards the boardwalk that I showed you guys. So if you look at here, if you are having kids who need a good field trip, I think you can surely bring them here. There's also a garden that shows various vegetables growing. It really is very, very beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
<laughs> so there are lots of bike rental companies here. You can just rent out the bike and you can even negotiate in July. Even a lot of food outlets. So typically if you want to see a village environment, a very touristy environment in Singapore, touristy but village, then this is the place you have to come. It's an amazing central square around the island here and it's filled with bicycle shops or places where you can find drinks. So we're on the way to a place called Butterfly Hill. So there is a small sheltered place here and there is the National Parks Council of Singapore. This is not really being friendly with me right now. However, I'll continue my war with this. It's very windy. So this place is a lot rustic and a lot different from the traditional, typical Singapore. I mean, the Singapore of 2020s. Of course, in those olden days, Singapore was surely not very different than how we see this today. However, this place has always been remaining closer to the nature. So we are now at the Butterfly Hill. I think we have to go upwards from here this particular diversion and uh, yeah look at the view from the top of this Daddy, butterfly Daddy. hill definitely breathtaking as you may see people are just coming here taking photos so it's a definitely worth it photo spot you have to take a photo for sure here if you are coming to Palau Bean and yes, there are a lot of butterflies in here, so now I know why this is called as Butterfly Hill. You see at the beauty. Beautiful. Really beautiful, man. Back from the Butterfly Hill, there's the other side of Butterfly Hill where we got down from. And just opposite to this, there's an amazing view. So I want to bring you guys over to this view. Let's see what we have here. This is a small little camping site. And apart from the camping site, there's also this rocky beach. Definitely not for the swimmers. However, you see those small little settlements inside the water. I think those are the local people who live around here. And there are the yacht sites. And we are not very far from the ferry terminal where we came from. It's just on the other side of this beach. On the other side, I also noticed these beautiful fallen flowers. And it creates a pinkish aura. Initially, I felt like there's some coloring down here, but it's actually the flowers that fall down and create this pinkish color. This dog here is just all over the island and I have a strong reason to believe that it's the same dog that we saw at the entrance, guys. Yeah, it's, it's like he is the king of this island, literally, and we are actually the guests of this island. So. I just respect his kingdom and uh, let him alone. So while walking further down from the Jelutong campsite, it is still another campsite of Jelutong. However, I was I stumbled upon these beautiful trees. Looks very beautiful. time to visit Pulau Ubin would be after a heavy rainfall if there is no more rain forecast for the day take a bum boat from Changi Point Ferry Terminal come over here and enjoy this beautiful relaxing scene 
I would say this is definitely worth it and it's beyond the scene as you saw in the video. Okay friends, we're very tired after an eventful and memorable day. We're heading back to Singapore, basically mainland of Singapore. That was our trip to Pulau Ubin guys. If you like this video, please share this video and comment below if you want to see more such unique, rustic, close to nature islands around Singapore. Until next time, bye, take care.